Hello again. In this video lesson, I'll show you how to download ADD plugin and how to create Android virtual device. Without further ado, let's get started. Open an Eclipse, navigate to help, install new software, click on add, give name as ADD plugin and enter location as you can see on the screen. Click on OK and follow the installation guide. Once installation is complete, restart an Eclipse. Once you reopen Eclipse again, it may ask you to define Android SDK location. Provide Android SDK location and click on Next. You would now see Android SDK Manager and Android Virtual Device Manager icon added to the toolbar. Now click on AVD Manager. This will open an AVD Manager window. There is another way to open AVD Manager. Open a terminal on a Mac or a command prompt on Windows and type Android AVD. This will also launch AVD Manager. Now you can click on Create button to create an AVD, but there is an easy way to do it. Click on Device Definitions. This screen will give you AVD options available. Select Galaxy Nexus or any phone related option and click on Create AVD. You'll get some of the fields pre-filled. You can change any field value as per your need. Say I want to change the device to Nexus 5. Select Target API. Select Skin. Select CPU option. You may want to increase RAM and VM hip size. Click on OK. Now select AVD that you want to start and click on start. Click on launch. It will take a while to launch AVD depending on your laptop configuration. You can use Android emulator to test any app. Advantage of using AVD is you can test an app on a different device configuration without actually investing in physical hardware. Downsizes is slower than a real device. On a Mac, you can still use an emulator. I would advise you not to use emulator on Windows as it's very slow. Use real device instead. Alright, see you in the next video lesson.